Hello, I'm going to talk to you about recognizing procrastination excuses. We are currently bombarded as a society with apps and programs for productivity. Not only are we bombarded with apps and programs for productivity, we are also collectively shamed for procrastination. It isn't strange to me that no matter which social media app I use, I am constantly faced with advertising of apps for procrastination. And I know why, because a bulk of my content is around being neurodivergent. I'm autistic, ADHD and PDA. Anything I'm putting out into the algorithm invites back some form of support tool that can't speak for everybody. My intention is to offer relief, self-acceptance and self-compassion. I decided to sign up for one of these apps just so I could give concrete examples of what the problem is for somebody with ADHD. As a person with ADHD and an autistic, I am immediately drawn to organization apps, journals. I'm nearly 45 and across my lifespan, I have spent so much money on apps, calendars, journals, special alarms, systems, and if they were impactful and effective, I wouldn't have this disability called ADHD. What we lose sight of is the fact that ADHD is a disability. I will be ADHD for not only my entire life as I age during perimenopausal years and going through menopause, the changes that occur within our brain chemistry and our neurobiology are very real in the same way that a neurodivergent person who is going through puberty has incredible changes as well. Our anxiety increases, our memory retention becomes more challenging, and our ADHD characteristics can be more disabling. But what that looks like is you're giving up on life, or you're not trying anymore, or maybe you're just tired and you need some vitamins. Here's an example of what I've come across in one of these apps. Recognize procrastination. Just the word excuses alongside procrastination is ableist. These apps and their marketing strategies look for people like me. They look for people who talk about ADHD and they target people who are drawn to organization or struggle with organization. Here are the excuses they want me to recognize. One, I work better under pressure, so I'll leave it to the last minute. Here's my response to that. It is better for me to create work shortly before it begins. If I'm about to deliver a presentation, I will draw up the information, offload my thoughts and my experience and my knowledge onto the slides or the paper hours before I deliver it. I do this because if I prepare too much earlier, then my memory is just completely gone. I have tried so many times across my life to prepare earlier. Did it feel successful to me when I did that? Absolutely not. Because my brain works very quickly. It takes in information it processes it and it lets it go a lot of the time. It's better for me to prepare right before because then I am fresh, inspired, focused and ready to go. I know exactly what I was thinking when I put this presentation together. I know exactly what I want to say. It's not procrastination. It's an impactful, effective strategy that is aligned with my ADHD. It is appropriate for my neurodivergent brain. I don't have enough time to get it all done. I'll wait for a longer time period to do it. That is not a procrastination excuse for somebody who is ADHD or PDA. There may be incredible anxiety, perfectionism. There could be fear of failure. These things are often a part of a neurodivergent profile for people like me. When I'm going through all of these reasons, 
I don't want to do it now. I may feel like doing it tomorrow. Whilst they may apply to some people when they're younger, that's because we don't have the insight into why we do the things we do. Programs like this uphold our self-doubt and our self-shaming. It encourages it. Once upon a time, I would think those things were true. I'm a chronic procrastinator. I have plenty of time, so I don't have to start it now. That's not a procrastination excuse. That is something that people with ADHD struggle with. It is a struggle with the concept of time. We tend to live in the moment. We tend to be where we are right now, mentally, spiritually, physically. Our brains work very quickly. I don't feel inspired. For me as a PDA, absolutely. I don't have a defense against that. It's not so much about inspiration. It's about safety. I have to wait until my neurobiology, my nervous system, my prefrontal cortex is in alignment and gives me the go ahead to be able to do something. I have to dodge or navigate this emphatically protective nervous system, which is PDA and the disability. These apps are upholding institutional power against marginalized people who are disabled, have challenges around being able to carry out tasks. They are speaking to us as though there is a personal issue reinforcing the ideas that we are lazy, that we are selfish, that we procrastinate, and that we can do better. I'm almost 45. I have become a little cynical after all these years around journals for organization, apps, calendars with alarms, because if a calendar was something that was effective for me, if an alarm, if an app on my phone worked for me, I wouldn't have this disability called ADHD. I wouldn't have a disability called PDA. I wouldn't be autistic. That's not the same as saying that tools cannot support us. Absolutely they can. Sometimes a tool is very helpful. And if you find these apps helpful, that's great. But if you find them shaming, if we're really honest with ourselves, if these types of apps make us feel less than, if we start beating up on ourselves, then that's problematic. Beating up on ourselves whilst we know we have a disability is a problem. It's called internalized ableism. And the people creating and selling these apps target the vulnerable who do not yet have the insight for whatever reason about how intrinsic and how inherent their ADHD is, and that they actually are worthy of support and understanding, self-acceptance and self-compassion. These apps are not fair, they're not kind, and they expect of us to be neuronormative. Know that you are worthy of love and support. It's okay if they don't work for you. That doesn't mean that you are failing. It means that this is not an appropriate tool for you because it completely skips over disability and calls it things like procrastination excuses. 